Hello nerds and nerdettes, my name is Phoenix, and today we're looking at the Planet Coaster. In the previous episode we built a lot, it's been a while because I was working night shifts and I didn't have time to record as much as I would like to, sometimes unfortunately it happens at my work. Once every month I have to work night shifts, but we're back, I'm going to be start building this theme park and we're going to try to do it the way I would do it if the money was involved in the game. So we're going to do, we're going to start building some shops, maybe something in here just to get people going, and then we'll start expanding a little bit in here, building more around this monster, and doing all the cool stuff. So let's go for it and let's figure out what we want the most. Okay, it looks like we can only build one set of shops, I cannot fit the other set in here. When I was trying to place the shop, we will struggle with that. So unfortunately we cannot really squeeze them in. This one here would fit. If I was pushing it, but then I don't have a road ready to plug it in, so for now we'll skip it the way it is. I'm going to build around it and try to build it into something cool. So what do I want to do? Just to give it a little bit of structure with the roof, because we can have that going for it. Then we're going to throw a few walls and just build around it in this kind of theme. I'm not sure if that's the ideal placement, maybe this. Well, that would work quite nicely, actually. So look at that, we could actually have it like that. That's not too bad, is it? I quite like it. So we're going to have this. We're going to build a wall around it as well, just a normal wall like that. Or maybe we should give it a little bit of a structure here. I'm not really sure how that would work. That will fit in. Is that okay looking or not? That's the question. It actually doesn't look that bad, does it? I quite like it. We need to do something with the roof, because the roof looks ridiculous at the moment. So we definitely have to place something on top of that. Okay, so we have this like that for now. Kind of giving it a little bit of a castle look. Maybe, a, maybe some sort of a tower. Then we're going to throw the roof in here. I should consider lowering it. Something like that. It kind of fits in well. And I'm not sure if I want to extend this tower a little bit higher or just leave it as it is. And just throw this thing out. Because that would possibly make sense. We we'll drag it a little bit. Just a little overhang like that. Maybe that will work. The only problem I have with it. I will leave this side completely empty, so maybe no. Okay, I'm happy with that, look at that. We have this castle here. Looks like that from the distance. We have a little pirate flag hanging hanging from the bow. And now we can have a look in here quickly. So let's look at that. We have a little castle here. I have a little thing that you can knock kind of on the door, so you can, you know, raise the attention of people in here. When we look around, the part I'm proud the most of is here, look at that. When we come in, uh, this fake cannon. I think that looks awesome, it kind of welcomes people, that makes them immediately into the kind of pirate feeling in here. And I feel like they should really love it. Also put two of them attached, so it kind of looks like they are leading to this flag and they raise them up. And the flag is attached, so I'm really happy with this castle. I'm quite impressed actually how it, look, how it turned out. Not sure if this shop is working though, because I can't... I don't see anyone buying the hats from this shop. Oh no, they actually do, that's fine. As long as they buy it from the shop, I'm okay with that. I'm kind of okay. Look at that, that looks amazing. Let's just admire that for a second. Yeah, I think that looks fantastic. Okay. Now, we have to figure out what else we want to build. We have people coming in here, both directions. Possibly I want to place the statues like that on every part. So we have them on each of the entrance. So probably let's do it now, straight away. Let's see, there is a nature statues. Is that the one? It is. So we have a different kind. We have this kind of owl thing. We could have a different statue on each, so then people can call it like a, I don't know, parrot line, mermaid line. 
Yeah, that will kind of lead people to the different corridors in here. I think that makes sense. And what is this one? Pirate King statue. Oh, that's not bad. Although he's huge. He is enormous. Not sure if he will fit well. Oh, well, maybe it's not too bad. He will spin him around. Yeah. Yeah, I take that. Is he actually hanging up? Okay. Yeah, he's actually standing. It even looks like he's tied up with the rope. I think that looks fantastic. Okay. So I have them all ready. Now I have to start building the rides and doing something with it here. So let's see what sort of rides we can build. That doesn't look very piratey. We may skip that. This boat. I think this boat would... That would fit. And we could possibly place that if we wanted to kind of squeeze it here. What else do we have? Well, we can't have a good pirate place without the boat, can we? So I think we're going to be throwing this boat somewhere here. And I feel like this location is good enough. We don't even have to decorate it that much, because obviously it's a boat, so that will work. We're going to place the entrance, throw it, hmm, throw it here. Place the exit straight away after. Add the queue to the entrance, yes, we want that. We want to attach the angle snapping here. And I want to drag it all the way up. So we can have it like that, then turn it around. Oh, that was working? Yes. Ah, not like that. Like that. We'll drag it all the way down. Now we can attach it here. That would be amazing. Add the queue. Yes. Queue entrance. Add this one. How would that work the best? It's kind of big. Oh, that, that, that can potentially work in here. Not too bad. Obviously, we have to destroy this road in here for now. So add the queue in here. We need to destroy this road. Oh, and if we add it like that, that will work. Everybody should be happy with that. So people will come in. They can straight away go on the boat. We should place something in here to keep people entertained. So let's stop with that now. We don't want any more roads. We want to play some sort of scenery. And there was a pirates playing. Seen that before. Pirate band. It's actually bigger than I expected it to be, but I feel like we can squeeze it somewhere. Won't that make sense here between the trees? Or not really. Probably not really. But definitely we place them here, that will work quite okay. I'm going to build a path now to the exit in here, so we want to place this one here. Ideally I don't want it straight like that, I want them to actually walk past the pirate. And then we're going to connect somewhere here. Okay, that actually works quite nicely. So look at that, they can come in now. We have this boat in here that they can join. They have pirates playing music, everything is fantastic. We're going to add some sort of scenery in here. We have this decorated destroyed boats. And you can do things with it. Like we can kind of overlap it a little bit. Over the pirates. But for now, no. I think we'll leave the pirates playing as they are. We need to decide what sort of decoration we want in here. Probably just some font fountain or something just to break this open space in here that I want to throw. So maybe we'll throw something like this. And a little veg around them, yes. That would make sense, yes. Alright, that's not bad. I have this huge ship, that's massive. Okay, what do you think of that? Look at that, we have these two tentacles kind of sticking out. Dilly would place eight, but they would really not fit very well. We have this bolt going. The queue is actually queue is bigger than I expected it to be. It's massive the queue. Really, we need to break. Maybe make the queue longer. Maybe just slightly, slightly longer because it doesn't appear to be working that that well. So maybe that's something we'll be definitely doing here. Let's just go into the paths. We'll extend the queue. I feel. 
Okay, now I extended the queue a little bit, so it's a little bit longer, it goes all the way up to there. You can see the boat now working spot on. And I feel like everything is working fantastic in here now. Maybe we could also throw a little bit of decoration there. Maybe just a few barrels here. Kind of like stuck, stuck next to each other. So they build up into this massive... Just something, something like that, just to give it a little bit of a texture. And like this. Okay, I'm happy with that. Huge queue of people will be coming to this. They will be happy. There is Pyras playing. Everything is fantastic. And I feel like this is working really nice. So we'll definitely keep that pirate theme castle here. And we are still left with this massive open space in here. So definitely something we need to be building here. We need to figure out the best ways to actually do it. And I think uh, connecting these people together would be nice as well with some sort of path. And then building a ride in here that would allow them both to join the same ride in here. So let's see what sort of rides we have available. And let's see if there is anything awesome, like this one here. What is this? I think it's kind of enough pirate themed. Now we can actually have it. If we throw it like in here in the middle, that should be accessible to everybody. Then they can have it like that, entrance. They can have exit here. Well, allow everyone to join and place the queue. The queue, we want it to be that way, shaped. And how do I want to drag it? Probably something like that, not too long of the queue. I don't anticipate this ride to be anything amazing. So we'll have it like that, then we're going to have a ticket on the end of the queue. Okay, I decided to turn it around because it wasn't really fitting me well in here. What we're going to do, we're going to build the road, kind of like that. Ah, it snapped wrong. I want it to be snapping like this. That was a good way. Yes, fantastic. Like that. And I want the entrance the other way as well, so I can drag the road in here. And connect it. Yes, yes, that works well. Okay, this lamp here obviously will not work now, so we're going to demolish that. Like that. And the path can lead to both. So entrance, that's going to be exit. We're in the entrance now to lead the path as well. So we're going to have a path. We're going to make it a short one so I can expand from here in both directions. This direction and this direction. And that will work here. And this one will connect it to the main road over there. Fantastic, look at that. Okay, so the paths are done. People will be joining the ride. We're going to give it a go. So now we have people working on the ride as well. It doesn't look pretty, so we have to build something around it. And now we build this castle here. If we made that into a little tower, that would possibly work. So let's see if we have any sort of buildings and walls around it that we can build. Not really, it won't. It won't work very well. So maybe not like that. Maybe we'll just cover it with the nature. We have plenty of nature here. We have some rocks and the bushes. So maybe we could actually do it like that, kind of covered up and well fitted. Oh, that, that makes sense here. Add a little bit of a rock. Something like that, so you can't really see it straight away that much, because... It can potentially be eye really sore on your eyes. Something like that. So we have this. We have this rock here. We can lower it. Even like that. Just so you have a little bit of it sticking out. Something like that. Another one like this. Oh, that, that makes sense. It's quite amazing how you can mess about with them rocks and build something awesome with it. Like if we lower that, have bushes placed like this. Actually, it does look quite decent. 
And it's a kiddie ride, but you can always take your kids on it if you want. And that should work quite okay for everybody. I'm going to lower this rock, place it like that, place the big one, just stack them together so we can. Definitely not that high, so we can always use it as a decoration like this. Place another one here. Oh, that's really nice. I really, really excited that we can actually discover that, that we can move them rocks around. Kind of build them around into something awesome here. So let's see what else we want to do. Definitely want to go up with them rocks. Something like that. We're going to throw one extra somehow just to break it up. Oh, it's not too bad. It takes the shape up together slowly. Yeah, it's amazing that you can you can actually move them like that and you can build a lot with them. Look at them bushes here. We can place them as we want to. The red bushes looks really nice, so I will throw a few in here. And maybe one extra somewhere here. It doesn't look too bad, does it? What we need to see is how it looks from the faces of people. So let's go on the camera. It does look decent. It does look decent, I have to say. Look at that. They look really pretty. They can come in here to queue and everything looks fantastic. May need to place something in here because there is... A little bit of an open space. I don't like open spaces that much. Some sort of palm tree maybe or something like that. Not too big so we don't cover whole right. But also not too small so it actually kind of fits there and makes sense. Well, the small tree that will cover it up decently so then when you are in the castle you can't see... It doesn't really bother you that much that it's there. This stage could do with some cover on the back, because I'm not, not happy with the stage. So let's figure out how we're going to do it. You're building attachments, yes. Will they make sense? They smile. Way too small. Well, that makes more sense now here. So that's how people get on the stage. But I would like to cover them up here, so let's... See. Okay, I think we achieved good point covering it with these little wooden houses, like a, it's like a hammock inside and basically like a, I don't know, fisherman house, something like that inside. I think we cover it well enough so it doesn't really bother you that much. wonder if there's a fireplace, that would be amazing if we had a fire. Decorations, that's what I need. Okay, I added some red lights, I put them under the grass, so the light kind of still goes clipping through the, gra through the grass, but it gives it this good look. And added a little sign in here, and I feel like it breaks it really nicely. So today we really built a lot. We built this boat that I'm really happy with. I'm really happy with the way it looks. The queue there is quite actually quite nice. So when we look at the queue, let's have a look at them, let's check them out. Yeah, the queue is working okay. This works fantastic in the darkness. I like it. Maybe we should place some more torches, but that's something I will be doing later on. The tentacles here looks awesome. We have the spirals working. Everything is great. Let's have a go at the boat, because at the end of the day, that's why we build it. Let's check it out. Okay, everybody ready? Let's go for it. Look at them. They all buy in the pirate hearts. I love it. Are we ready? A lot of people are running. Okay, and we're going. Let's check it out. It's not bad. I feel like we're sitting in a good spot. We're sitting almost on the end in here, don't we? If we swap seats, where can we sit? That's not... No, oh, that was the best, I think. Number four was the best. Look at that. Yeah, that looks amazing. Look at that. Ooh, I would love it on the VR. I would, seriously, if we had a VR in the game, I would love it. But look at that, how high it goes. In here, it really feels like you're going to crash into the ground. You can also see the statue there that looks amazing in the dark. On top of the moon and everything. I love it. I am impressed with this, so I'm really happy. How does it look from the side? Not bad. 
Actually, goals really high. It goes just above them houses. That looks nice. Now that I look at the houses from this angle, maybe we should place one extra lamp. Because look at that. We have all these red lights in here, and this bit here is really kind of yellowish. So let's go into the scenery. Was that in the props? Buildings, I think it was. Decorations and in light. I'm going to place it like this. And like that. Nice. Just lower it up. So nobody can see it. Looks amazing. I love it. Okay, guys, I think that's where I'm going to finish the episode for today. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do making the videos. Let me know what you see what you want to see next. Let me know what you want to see and what you want me to build. I will do my best at building. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.